Apple is using artificial intelligence to an extent. Apple's latest WWDC keynote just dropped, and it's packed with some of the most exciting and honestly unexpected updates we've seen in a while. From major changes in iOS 18 and Vision OS 2.0 to the long-awaited iPad calculator app with a surprising twist, Apple really pulled out all the stops this year. They even gave us a fresh take on AI. But in classic Apple style, it's called Apple Intelligence. Today we're going to introduce all the most important updates, giving you a complete rundown of what's new and what it means for you. Apple's WWDC Keynote Apple's latest WWDC Keynote introduced a series of major updates with a notable focus on AI, though Apple chose to introduce it subtly, saving AI-focused updates for the latter half of the presentation. Branding it under the name Apple Intelligence, the company is strategically positioning its AI features as uniquely Apple. The Keynote covered several new updates across devices including iOS, Vision OS, AirPods and iPadOS, among others. Here's a breakdown of all the major announcements. Vision Pro and Vision OS 2.0 upgrades with key features. The keynote kicked off with Vision OS 2.0, Apple's operating system for the Vision Pro. While this wasn't the revolutionary update some expected, there were useful new features. New gesture controls. A wrist turn gesture allows users to see the time and battery percentage, then quickly access the control center. This is an improvement from previous controls, which required looking up. Enhanced media viewing. With machine learning, old photos can be turned into spatial photos, providing a more immersive experience. Users can also create spatial videos, although these are currently viewable only on the Vision Pro. Improved screen mirroring. Vision Pro now supports max screen mirroring with enhanced resolution through foveated rendering. This change allows users to double the resolution, creating more space for windows and multitasking. iOS 18, bringing customization to new heights. Apple introduced significant customization options in iOS 18, creating one of the most customizable iPhone experiences yet. Home screen flexibility. Users can now place icons anywhere on the grid, a change that received applause despite being a long-standing Android feature. Additionally, a new theme engine allows users to match icon and widget colors with their wallpaper. Control Center. Redesign. The new Control Center is fully customizable with multi-page support, allowing users to replace icons like the flashlight and camera without jailbreaking. New iMessage. Features. iMessage now supports scheduled text messages, text formatting, and satellite messaging, with brief mention of RCS support. Game mode. Designed for gamers, this new mode minimizes background activities and reduces Bluetooth latency, creating a smoother gaming experience. AirPods. Minor enhancements. Focused on convenience. AirPods received a few updates focused on user convenience. Voice isolation. During calls. This feature feature enhances call quality by isolating the user's voice from background noise. Gesture-based controls. Users can now nod or shake their heads to respond to prompts, a feature borrowed from Sony headphones. This hands-free control adds another layer of convenience for AirPods users. Apple TV. Enhancements for a more informed viewing experience. Apple TV updates included a few helpful new features. Real-time information. A swipe on the remote now reveals actors' names, character names, and song titles for any moment during a show. Voice boosting. This feature emphasizes dialogue, ensuring that voices are always clear over background music. Apple Watch. Training mode for fitness analysis. The updated watchOS introduces a new training mode that evaluates work workout intensity and tracks trends in training over time. This feature offers insights into workout effectiveness and aligns with Apple's focus on fitness for Apple Watch users. macOS Sequoia Updates The newest version of macOS called Sequoia brings a grab bag of features designed to improve functionality and user experience. This update finally introduces automatic window snapping as a built-in feature, eliminating the need for third-party apps. macOS Sequoia also introduces a background option for any app that uses the webcam, and a new password app, previously buried in settings is now a standalone app available on Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Perhaps the most significant addition is iPhone mirroring. This new continuity feature allows users to wirelessly view their iPhone screen on a Mac, merge notifications and audio, and drag and drop files between devices. While Apple hasn't shared details on its battery impact, testing will reveal how it fares during extensive use. This feature could be a game changer for those who use multiple Apple devices throughout the day. Enter Apple Intelligence, Apple's AI integration. Apple has historically avoided using the term term AI on stage, preferring phrases like neural nets or machine learning. But at this year's WWDC, Apple embraced the times, introducing its own AI-branded system, Apple Intelligence. This initiative includes a range of generative models developed by Apple, which are now integrated into Apple's device ecosystem. Apple Intelligence taps into Apple's neural engine and introduces several new tools, available only on the iPhone 15 Pro, any iPad with M1 or later, and any Mac with M1 or later. These features mark a significant step forward in device capabilities. Apple Intelligence Tools Rather than presenting a standalone Apple Intelligence app, Apple has woven these AI tools into various apps and functions. Writing Tools In apps like Pages and Keynote, these tools help users summarize, rewrite, or proofread content with a simple click. 
Photo Cleanup Tool Similar to Google's Magic Eraser, Apple's Photos app now features a cleanup tool. This tool allows users to remove unwanted elements from photos by circling them with a generative fill feature that seamlessly replaces the background. Genmojis, a generative emoji feature, lets users create custom emojis based on specific prompts ideal for moments when existing emojis fall short. Image Playground. This separate app lets users create square images with prompts in three styles, sketch, illustration, and animation. Siri Enhancements. Apple's large language models enhance Siri's contextual understanding, making it more natural and efficient. Users can also type to Siri instead of speaking aloud, a long-awaited feature. Apple intelligence features are sprinkled across the Apple ecosystem, adding powerful, context-aware tools to enhance the user experience. On-device versus cloud processing and privacy considerations. A key question surrounding Apple intelligence is how data is processed. Apple clarified that most operations are handled directly on the device using Apple-built models, ensuring optimal speed and privacy. However, for more complex tasks beyond the capabilities of Apple's models, the system might connect to a larger server-based model using Apple's private cloud compute. Importantly, data is never stored or sent to Apple, preserving user privacy. Additionally, users can choose to access ChatGPT through Apple Intelligence, with a prompt asking for permission before each request. Apple has also partnered with OpenAI to integrate ChatGPT 4.0 into Apple Intelligence for specific tasks. Apple's security measures obscure IP addresses, ensuring that OpenAI cannot compile user profiles based on requests. This privacy-centric approach aligns with Apple's commitment to security and user autonomy. Apple's foray into AI firmly established establishes it as a major player in the industry. These new features promise a future where Apple devices become even more personalized, responsive, and capable of meeting diverse user needs. Stay tuned for more updates and deep dives into Apple's exciting developments. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. For those seeking expert marketing insights, be sure to check out www.judifmarketing.com. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.